Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Beckerman, I want to come to you first. In the past, TikTok has said that it has never, nor would it ever, share and provide user data to the Chinese government, even if asked. Yet your privacy policy says you can disclose data collected to respond to government inquiries. It also says you share data you collect with your parent companies and affiliates, and that you transmit user information to servers and data centers overseas. And earlier this year, the Chinese Communist Party acquired an ownership state and a seat on the board of ByteDance. So does TikTok share user data with its parent company, ByteDance? Um, thank you, Senator. Um, this is an important question, um, and I'm glad you're asking. Um, TikTok does not- Quickly. Time Excuse me? Running. Quickly, please. Yes, Senator. Um, we do not share information with the Chinese government, and I would like to um, point you to a Citizen Lab report, which is one of the most well-respected global national security experts, where they said, our research shows that there's no overt data transmission to the Chinese government, and our testing TikTok did not contact any servers within China. Um, and then the report goes on to state Senator. Then let me uh, ask TikTok you. TikTok does not pose a threat to national security, and I'd be happy to submit that report okay, for the record. Okay, let me ask you, please submit the report for the record. Do any ByteDance employees have access to TikTok user data or any role in creating their algorithm? Senator, um, U.S. user data is stored in the United States. Our backups are in Singapore, and we have a, um, a world-renowned U.S.-based security team that handles access I to user data. I understand that you, you say you store it in Singa Singapore. Uh, tell me about programmers, product developers, and the data teams. Are they housed in China? Senator, like many technology companies, we have engineers in okay. the United States and throughout and around the world. And so they have access to algorithms and data. Senator, we have engineers in the United States and we also have engineers. So um, that answer is yes. What about Doyen? Uh, ByteDance says they are fully separate, but do Doyen employees have any access to TikTok user data or input into the algorithm? Um, Senator, that's a completely different app from TikTok. And uh, no, it's a related company. You might want to check that. If the Chinese Communist Party asks you for U.S. user data, what is to stop you from providing it since they have a seat on the board of ByteDance and they have a financial stake in the company? Um, Senator, that's um, not accurate. Um, one, they do not have a stake in TikTok at all. Oh, um, yes, two, they do. It happened in August. Um, Senator, that's not that accurate. That is ByteDance. And uh, I, let's, we can clarify that for the record. But the record is that the Chinese Communist Party acquired a stake in ByteDance in August, and they now have a seat on the board. So let's talk about TikTok's privacy policy. It says you collect and keep a wide variety of information, including biometric data such as face prints, voice prints, geolocation information, browsing and search history, not just on TikTok, but on other apps, and keystroke patterns and rhythms. Why do you need all of this personal data, especially on our children, which seems to be more than any other platform collects? Senator, um, many outside researchers and experts that look at this have pointed out that TikTok actually collects less data um, than many of our peers, and um, on the keystroke issue, so Outside researchers that you're paying for? No, Senator. We, you would submit that to independent outside researchers because what we're seeing with all of this biometric data and the keystroke patterns that you are exceeding that. So what do you do with this? Are you creating a virtual you of the children that are on your site? Senator, I don't know what you mean by, by virtual you. Well, a virtual you is you in your presence online. It's like a virtual dossier. I'm sure you understand that term. And okay. let's, what do you need with all of this information? Do you track children's viewing patterns? Are you building a replication of where they go, their search history, their voice, their biometrics? And why does TikTok and Bike Dance and Doyen need that information on our children. Um, um, Senator, uh, TikTok is an entertainment platform where people watch and enjoy and create short form videos. 
Um, it's, it's about uplifting and entertaining content. People love it. Um, and I, I disagree with the characterization from, of, of the way. That, that is it from the positive. But there's also a negative. And the negative is that you are building a profile, a virtual you, of our children because of the data that you're collecting. You mentioned the family parent provision that you have. So when you have a parent that goes on that, are they opening their data to TikTok? And is TikTok following them or following and capturing their search history? See, Mr. Beckerman, when you capture all of this data and you hold all of this data, then you are invading the property, the, the private, the privacy of individuals that are on your site. And that applies to you, to Ms. Stout, to Ms. Miller, because you are, you say because you are using the platform, we can do this. But in essence, what you're doing is making our children and their data, you're making that the product because you turn around and you sell it, and then basically it becomes weaponized against their users. Mr. Chairman, I'm over time. I have several questions for Ms. Stout, Ms. Miller, and we'll do those in a second round. We'll have a second round. Uh